Hello viewers, hello listeners, hello everyone. Thank you once again for joining me on DMAPS TV. Please don't forget to subscribe if you're coming up the first time. If you're regular, just do the usual. Please like and comment and also share our video so that you won't miss any of the videos that we do. Because what we do is we give you current affairs in real time. So yes, we have just learned that the Zimbabwe military is prepared to salute opposition leader Nelson Chamisa. The Zimbabwe military are readying themselves for a new commander-in-chief and in the form of opposition citizens coalition for change leader Nelson Chamisa, our sources within the Zimbabwe military say, and they have confirmed this. With SADC pushing for fresh elections in Zimbabwe, our sources within say the Zimbabwe military has thrown its weight behind SADC, its weight rather behind the SADC resolution, and will salute the new commander in chief elected by the people of Zimbabwe in a free, fair, fresh election. In an unprecedented development in the Zimbabwe military, which removed former President Robert Mugabe in that November 2017 coup, the army has reluctantly dumped Zanupiev, the former liberation struggle movement for the opposition for the first time since independence from Britain in 1980. The relationship between ZANU-PF and the Zimbabwe military has been that of father and son. ZANU-PF is the son who constantly updates his father what he is doing. The Zimbabwe military, on the other hand, determines the path his son follows. Since taking over from Mugabe, President Emerson Nangagwa and ZANU-PF have clearly disappointed the Zimbabwe military, says the sources. So we have what we have seen, ladies and gentlemen, even the, in the recent times, how the army, or how the president has clashed with the army on various matters. So this is piling up, and what what this is doing is doing uh, is preparing for the opposition to come in. Is preparing the army to say we are ready to support Nelson Chamisa, hundred percent. The Zimbabwe military is impressed by the popularity Nelson Chamisa com currently commands in Zimbabwe and even beyond the people of Zimbabwe. It appears genuinely loved the opposition leader. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, we cannot argue about this. People love Nelson Chamisa. Have you ever started a war on social media and seen how people defend him even when he is silent, even when they don't know what is up with him? They just remain silent. The Zimbabwe military has seen Zanupiev's popularity in Zimbabwe since independence dropping by each general election. The former liberation movement is now widely viewed as a monster by the people of Zimbabwe. They liberated. In particular, the said abduction and murder of opposition exorcists and Itai Mazara, who was abducted and never to be heard from, again is made uh, ZANU-PF appear is a minister. In fact, the people of Zimbabwe feel that the late Rhodesia Prime Minister Ian Smith, a man ferociously fought against to achieve independence in 1980, would easily win elections to Zimbabwe to lead Zimbabwe as president today if he was to contest against ZANU-PF. That's how feathered down Zanubia is taking Zimbabwe. So imagine, ladies and gentlemen, the president is now being compared to a colonialist in Ian Smith. The Zimbabwe military has not benefited from the ouster of Robert Mugabe in the November 2017 coup. In every aspect, they want change. They like Nelson Chamisa. That is in a nutshell. When they hear Nelson Chamisa speak, they don't take his words as promises by common sense. ZANU-PF is believed to be lacking common sense. That is what the sources within the Zimbabwe Defense Forces are saying. They say they just want something that is better than what is currently happening. They say that these comrades are fast driving Zimbabwe towards a big hole, which will in itself be very hard to get out of. So in a normal democracy, the military should not be involved in party politics 
or trying to influence the political landscape the way the Zimbabwe military does. The Zimbabwe military should support the government of the day. This means the military is only focused on defending the territorial integrity of Zimbabwe. They shouldn't care which set of Zimbabweans are in government opposition or the ruling parties. An African think tank uh, thinks this way. So what is actually happening, ladies and gentlemen, is that which was foretold by former Prime Minister, the late Morgan Richard Changrai. At one instance, he said that what happens in an election is that usually you can win an election and you will not win power. Why is it so? Because the government controls power. It controls power through the military, controls power through the judiciary, controls power even through the police services. So Morgan Richard Changrai put it rightly to say, you can win an election and not win power. It's one thing to win an election and it's another thing to win power. Of course, yes, he said this remarks while we had ran away from the 2008 elections and sought refuge in Botswana amid crackdown on dissent. Of course, yes, a lot of people blamed him for that move. But he said it was his for his protection and he wanted he so needed that first to rethink and reconfigure and re strategize. People feel he should have stayed behind and wrestled the election in which he had undoubtedly won and in which it is said that Robert Gabriel Mugabe actually accepted and considered defeat, but things were later turned out and Morgan Richard Changrai was said you can only say you can only settle for becoming a prime minister and you will never win the presidency. And what happened then was a runoff. So a top political scientist agrees. He said that Zimbabwe military should never discriminate on Zimbabwe political parties and side with one. It's against the constitution of Zimbabwe section 208. When the Zimbabwe military moves to salute a commander-in-chief elected by the people of Zimbabwe, it's a huge improvement. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, so this is what is transpiring. We are yet to witness, if indeed, no St. Chamisa will ever come to power or these are just talks. But the Zimbabwe military is assuring citizens that if there is need to salute, no Sanchamisa, they will definitely do so without fear or favor.